Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to what will be the final episode of Call Tech here on That's Your Professional Walkthroughs channel. So in the previous episode we were inside of the asylum and we descended down into the excavation site. As you can see the initial zone is telling you that there is going to be a lot of things to do but we have still those four pesky secrets. Now the fun thing is compared to the other missions here you actually get the secret right at the start. So you see there's this lamp and you need to get on top of it by jumping on these boxes and need to stick the goddamn landing and it's gonna be a little bit tricky but there's a weapon box. So when I'll be able to do this in year 2023 or whenever this counts as our first secret so quite easy to get this one but the next ones uh, not so much we have one weapon part so I um, won't be really able to upgrade anything else which is unfortunate but hopefully we're gonna be able to pull off some miracles in here because <laughs> This can be considered like the second largest map after the Asylum Grounds. And we see that the cultists have the enchantment or whatever the heck is going on with them because they have this glowing aura on them and it's no joke. They can pack a mean punch when they are like this. But so can I, especially if I land that successful headshot. So because the map is so extensive, the secrets are gonna be spread around. Okay, so I'm being shot at by multiple enemies, I just don't see- Okay, so we have a sniper there. Because the map is so massive, they can actually accommodate snipers in here. Okay, that was a beautiful headshot. We have another guy with the flamethrower. Okay, using the machine gun. Let's see how you like this. We'll have to heal up because I just lost all of the armor plates. Quite a lot of HP. So I'm trying to toss the dynamite sticks down there. Did not even notice you up there. Okay, explosive barrels, nothing really that special. It's gonna take us a little longer down the road for us to uncover the second secret. Let's see if we can fetch some ammo and stuff while we're up here. Armor, whatever. And uh, I'm not sure right now. I think the second secret is over there behind that boulder. Let's see if we can toss the stick far enough. When they're nicely grouped up like that, it's just easy for you to take the freaking... Stick and just fry them alive. Beautiful headshots. Okay, so I think it's here. I might be incorrect. It might be actually over down there. Behind those boulders. I just know I gotta stick to the left side of the excavation site. 
in order to reach our goal. With that lovely sniper rifle, that's a lot of enemies out of our way. I want to go grab the armor here. Because it helps reduce the overall damage and because I'm playing this on hard difficulty, I do take quite the large amount of uh, damage. Okay, um, I think I'll try to fry up whoever's down there. He's unfortunately like hiding underneath there. Okay, that was just unfortunate. I'm not gonna try to reach him with the flamethrower. Oh no! I think I actually did manage to succeed there. I think I accidentally killed a uh, different cultist than I wanted to. But, yeah, well, it still counts. He's still dead. I'm just kind of upset about losing those armor plates. Since they were so nicely stacked up, I was able to at least recover partially what I lost. I think it might be... Yeah, over here. Here is where is our second secret. So the excavator is kind of a giveaway of the location. This is not your second secret. This is just ammunition and some more armor. But once you descend down here, this is your second secret. Unfortunately, from here, you really cannot make it that easily back, but there is the chance of dynamite and they are too damn far the second one did manage to do the damn trick so at least there's that okay I see the sniper looking away from me that triggered the other cultists with the shotgun That's most unfortunate because now I'll have to keep in mind that he is actually on the move. Nice, two headshots. You can still pick these up and toss them down. Just I really don't want to be doing it with the explosive barrel. And there's gonna be a ghost hidden somewhere. Now, where in the world would you be if you were the ghost? Okay, almost fell there. I think I saw him. A little shit is hiding behind that concrete pillar. I don't really have a good shot with... Stick of dynamite. Yeah, I wasn't really sure where the hell he's gonna crawl out of. And there's one more. Because I saw another barrel floating around in there. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, they're too damn far for me to effectively take them out. I do want to grab the supplies over here. We have a really long way to go until we reach the next secret. It's mostly just now us clearing out whatever enemies are in our way. Beautiful. You gotta appreciate what the stick of dynamite can do for you. Where are you two dummies going? Okay, it's kind of pointless. 
but I'll appreciate the fact that they're no longer a threat. I think I see a sniper. Nope, that was just like blemish on the wall. I wasn't sure it's better to check. There's one of those big freaking beasts. Guy with the assault rifle or pistol has been taken out. It's better for you to take out that critter with the flamethrower. I'm not sure if that bastard is gonna be able to get up here. So, worst case scenario, the flamethrower. It's kind of a way to go. Okay, I was able to deep fry that one. Now I know that that monster is somewhere down here. Problem is I don't see it and I'm not willing to descend down there. Right? Okay, beautiful. How the hell did you get up there? I did not want it to jump down here, but it is what it is. How the hell did he get there? I have no idea what just happened. Okay, he can only withstand the flamethrower so long. It's really not fire resistant. I guess the cultists were just happy they were able to make whatever the hell it is. They did not consider things like, you know, making that demon fire resistant or whatever it is. Ammo. Let's see. Anything else? Not really that many things, so here we go inside of this temple. And once again we have these bastards. Trying to dodge those damn pesky projectiles. Gun because they like to stay so up close if they're not throwing whatever the heck that is. I, I, I don't know if they're like ripping body parts from within their body and tossing it at you. Don't know. Don't want to find out. The fun thing is, one grenade launcher and a proper, proper aim can actually clear out whatever goes through this really narrow tunnel. Okay, this is gonna be uh, a little bit of a less fun. Because here we're gonna have to keep bouncing up and down these staircases in order to like unlock all these weird things which are there waiting for us. And trust me, since this is like the end area, there's lots of things waiting for us, including the secrets. But yeah, we're gonna have to run around in order to clear this whole place out, because we need to unlock this. So once again, we need the key to the heart of the temple. Not my heart. You know, guys, I already love you. So, a long, long staircase. Wow. I don't know what's going on with me, but after like 15 minutes or so of talking, my throat is completely shutting down. <clears throat> so let's head down through the spiral staircase. We're gonna have to get down even lower, and you can already see that there's the Hell Knight waiting for us. But first, we're gonna have to deal with this whole lava wall blocking our path. Shouldn't be standing that close to the fire. So, uh, we're gonna go with the shotgun. Because, let's face it, they're getting really up close and personal. 
Okay, uh, I'm starting to think I recall that in here somewhere I think through here is gonna be the third secret, but we need a key first of course So not before I get really nice and toasty and crispy By exploring these locations and of course it's gotta be these idiots Don't you want to just die? Okay, that's one. Question is what happened with the second death. Yeah, he just... Being flambeed. I don't know if he got stuck on something, but it at least makes it easier on me, I guess. Well, there's the key. And the corpses, so nicely and neatly arranged. You know, I kind of feel like I missed out on a cool thumbnail already, so maybe I'll have to track back to the entry of the uh, temple. Just to quickly snap the picture, you know, for my Instagram and everything. And, uh, no, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, these goddamn skeletons are gonna be here. But not before we interact with the key item, which is located over there. This is not considered the secret. This is just a thing which you need to interact with. So, roughly translated, these findings should be stored in the archive for future brothers and those who would perform our rituals. We've encountered a phenomenon where the will binding fails, but some of its great power is left behind in the would be host. These imbued remains should be stored safely and securely as the power within seems to be dormant, waiting for a suitable host to transfer to. Do not handle these remains directly unless directed to do so by the willbound anchor. So once we pick up, of course, the skull, it does not take long for them to come to life and just ruin my day. But thankfully, the two barrels do quite a lot of damage from this close. We still have some armor left over. But there's still one more guy somewhere left. So after two double barrel shots, he's gone. And now, we should have what we need in order to go through these doors. I could have theoretically skipped that one room, I think, but... Uh, Oh, why would I do that? This game is so much fun. Okay, and in here is where our third secret is actually located. So as you see, these four doors. The thing is, you should be open all three of these first rooms. But, when you try to get to this one, it's blocked. So the fun thing is that you need to clear out these barrels and you see that crack in the wall, right? So you can either toss in a stick of dynamite or you can use what is available to you. So this counts as our third secret once we like cross the threshold and start collecting the weapon parts. That's it. That's all you needed. So, about the hole in the wall, roughly translated. If punishing a member of the death militia crew ensures their search for all explosives before looking them up, that is all. Okay, uh, we need to go through that crack, and if I recall correctly, we're gonna be in this hellishly infested location with all sorts of creepy crawlies. So, because these are the zombies, they are highly flammable. But there's also these creatures and monsters. The benefit is uh, that you can like deep fry them from up there. And they cannot really reach you. I kept pressing the wrong key, that's why I wasn't able to like lower myself down. But you can just basically deep fry everything.
these things aren't flammable. But you gotta be careful because they are able to spit some weird goo at you. One more of those weird big beasts are still there. So it's like back in the woods in one of the previous missions where I just tossed a bunch of molotovs at the zombies. They really don't like the flame. And once they're like on fire, their radical movements don't indicate that they can still damage you. So you should be okay. I'll just retreat back towards this location. Let the big creepy crawly follow me in. And with whatever we decide to go with, we can just execute it. She's gonna sit there and take all the punches, all the shots. And you have to get to the other side here. Because I think there's some key or something which you need to pick up. Bro, you don't want to be messing around with the whole flamethrower nonsense again. But I gotta be careful about the... Not falling into the goddamn lava. Man, this guy has a large HP pool. I don't know if it's the environment or something, but they are more and more sturdy. <clears throat> so here we go. There is this sort of valve and a key and a note. I'm free. I'm so sorry. I know no one will ever read these words, but I'm so sorry to everyone I left behind and heard following this cult of nut jobs. This isn't what I was promised. Well, power, respect, all the things I've never had, they promised. I was so excited that they were finally moving past our little community meetings, the backyard gatherings. They were going to test our devotion. I never killed anyone. I never will. Hopefully this plan of mine, the sabotage, will slow them down. Enough for some of the other guys to wipe them out or get out. I don't think the enemies respawn down here when you are running past once you pick up the valve and the key but still you have to go all the way up the spiral staircase and then all that other stuff so we will have quite the long way to go I think I'll actually run out and try to make my thumbnail although I'm not sure if I'll use the thumbnail of the temple or if I'll just you know try to uh, use a different thumbnail because this is going to be the end and we're going to have the, the final battle. The thing is, uh, the final battle is quite problematic uh, just due to how weirdly it's set up. So I'm going to die. I know I am going to die. I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not going to unlock the gates here. I'm, I'm just running out there to take the snapshot for the thumbnail possibly. At least so that I have options to choose from. That, that's why I'm doing it. Why I'm doing it. Just in case anyone is wondering. Ooh. Left an enemy behind. Well, that would suck. If there wouldn't be this part of the goddamn... I'm trying to time it so that I don't have the weapon in, in the frame. Because it just makes the whole thing look that much... Uglier. Okay. Now I'm happy. Like I said, I still don't know what I'll use as the thumbnail. I don't want to really like fall down because you can still take full damage in this game. <laughs> but okay, now we are here and we can put in the vault. And that will stop the flow of the magma. Which will, of course, reveal more enemies, because what else would you expect down here? What the hell was that? Is there 
sniper? I think there might be. Okay, two of them taken care of. Down is where we went in order to do all the stuff we did. Because they're nicely grouped up. Stick of dynamite. And your trusty pistol. Worst case scenario, shotgun to finish the job. Gonna take the elevated section. I really need to restore my HP. Some mural on the wall. Another key, and these are the keys which we require in order to unlock those gates upstairs. I really hope I did not miss out too many enemies in that great uh, excavation site. It'd be most unfortunate. If I was total fanatic, I can run through it one more time just to make sure. But they are so sporadically spread out. It would be just a hassle. So now we can unlock the suckers, pick up all the supplies here. There's obviously a lot of the things which just symbolizes that something is coming up. The problem is the only workbench which I was able to come across was the one at the start. I'm not really sure right now if there's gonna be one. Wasn't sure if uh, see the ghost, took out the ghost. Yeah, these suckers are gonna come to life. That's why you were given so much stuff. So the shotgun does the trick, as per usual. You gotta make sure to aim it correctly. Careful about the hatchets. They still hurt if they hit you. And because they are so nicely grouped up. Shotgun to the face. Beautiful. I'm not sure if I killed the damn ghost. <laughs> but it's definitely not standing anymore or floating around. with like these 2d games is that it can make it really difficult for you to land those shots once they are like below some sort of wall i know that this is like 3d and everything because you have the 3d models but the enemy is still like 2d poster which makes it difficult as if you're standing above them getting those shots in hard to anticipate how exactly the bullets penetrate the body and how much damage they are dealing. So no more armor. And we're heading to the really, really final zone. This is where the fourth secret is gonna be, by the way. So they are like quite spread out on this map and that's why I said that this is like the second largest map or maybe it's even the largest map I don't know if the asylum grounds are larger I never really like studied it that much in depth to be honest if 
unfortunately we're all out of sniper rounds sucks okay dynamite stick so the fourth secret is basically down here what you need to do get up on this ledge and here is where it is it's kind of tricky to get here without being deep fried and that's our fourth secret so it's kind of funny that the first one you find immediately at the start of the map but for the fourth one you have to travel all the way to Narnia in order to obtain it nothing is on the other side just a pit of lava And now, you have to make it across while being shot at by someone. Just be careful while you're taking damage on this ledge or whichever way you decide to go with. Because of course you can be pushed off and that's one way to get to hell. Or really really crispy town depending on your preference if you like your steak medium or overly well done more armor with the shotgun because close range encounters possibly still waiting for us That's why you equip the shotgun. So this is uh, the holes where the snipers were standing. It took unfortunately some damage there. But he did not walk that one off. Okay, so either the left side or the right side, the sniper is here and the cultist with the red cloak. Who keeps throwing the dynamite sticks and now we're heading to the last point where things are gonna happen we're gonna fight the final boss kind of sucks that I have four weapon ports right now and there's no workbench for me to use it I will literally have to travel all the way to the start and come back which would take me like 10 minutes or so and I don't think it would make that much of a difference so just screw it secret hunter achievement unlocked let's see how many kills did we get so it was kind of good that I went outside to take that photo it allowed me to take out that one last dude and now to the boss battle I hate the boss battle in this game. The final boss battle. <laughs> so, we're gonna have the workbench apparently here. And uh, if you ever played, I don't know, Quake 4 or whatever other FPS game, you know that if you come across a room which gives you this much crap, you're in for a really tough fight. So, research notes number eight. They did it. No science can explain this. A tear in reality. The sound was deafening, and I'm told those on the surface witnessed the sky torn asunder as it <clears throat> sorry, as it flowed through. Flesh turned to life, the grotesque abomination like a curse being trying to mimic a human form. This is no parasite. This is the end. This is the end. Five weapon parts. Uh, we can technically get like a fully wep uh, upgraded weapon. <laughs> and that's another achievement. So once you unlock all the upgrades for a weapon, or fully upgrade a weapon, that's what you get. The crates, they don't hold anything, so don't uh, be worried, but what I can do here is go through everything, make sure everything is ready to rumble and not to mumble. 
And then we head out. And this is gonna be a tricky one. I'm not gonna be enjoying this boss battle. So the doors behind us close and we have to battle this weird thing. So this thing actually will be attacking you with uh, either the swing of the arm or by tossing objects at you, I think. The thing is, uh, you really cannot dodge some of the shots. And when the armor is lowered, you need to shoot at the heart. But of course, this thing is not gonna be forever alone. So as you can see, the cultists are starting to appear. And when you get down here, no matter what you do, I still found it that it's uh, like impossible to dodge, especially the shot or or like the hand swipe. The grenade launcher does a quite decent amount of damage to the heart if you manage to land the shot successfully. But you gotta make sure to focus your attention at this freaking thing. Because it's only in this status while it's able to take damage from you for such a long time and the long sustained fire from these bastards is just not gonna give you too much time to screw around. So this is why like, I'm not a huge fan of this boss battle, honestly. Uh, the flamethrower, really not that useful in here. Really not. Uh, also, tossing the uh, TNT, not really the best idea. I had really, really mixed uh, experience with that. On those many, many attempts I tried in order to get the kill on this goddamn boss. So like I said, try to aim for... the heart whatever you can use use it as fast as you can take this thing out before too many cultists show up and they open fire on you because that's when the fight turns in the favor of this freaking thing yeah I'm not liking this one bit The, the fire is from the cult is worse than uh, the attacks from this fucking thing. Now I have to like skip ahead or god knows what. The initial engagement is totally fine, you will be able to like deal with this sucker. But once the cultists start showing up and considering that you take much more damage from their fire. It's not that long that you can sustain this. So once they start showing up, you really need to refocus your attention on them. Take these fuckers out as fast as you can. Because you can only pay attention to these things simultaneously for so long. And I hate the hand swipe attack no chance to dodge it I've tried so many times you have to be careful though because your SMG shares the ammunition with the pistol which I don't understand but it is what it is So the swipe of the hands. Use the 
grenade launcher. Getting quite far here. I'm gonna be cocky and save up. Let's try to reload as much as we can. We're having to take out the cultists. And like I said, the fire from them can be worse than the skull. And you can see how weird the movement of the hand is when it's like trying to attack you. So the swipe is just impossible to dodge, which makes it that much weirder. One more shot. There we go. So by killing the creature, we open up some sort of gate to the other world. And chances are that in the second part, we're going to be going through hell and killing God knows what creatures. But the fun thing is that this game is meant to be created by one guy. So I think he did quite a nice job. And uh, the names, I don't know what I'm supposed to think about it. But yeah, it's going to be it for Cultic. And now I'm gonna have to look for another FPS to kind of mix in with all the other playthroughs which I'll be posting onto the channel. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully you're gonna all join me for the next one. I don't think I'll be able to purchase any new titles anytime soon just due to the current situation in which I find myself. So please don't expect dead space and stuff like that, even though I would love to. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna wish you a blessed rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you all in the comments or the next one. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe out there in the meantime. Enjoy your video games, and I will see you in the future uploads. Bye-bye.